Here I'm going to discuss what how to connect MongoDB with Csaw.net. So first here I'm going to open the Visual Studio. So currently using Visual Studio 2022. So in future maybe version change but the process the same. Then after click on create new project. Then you can see console and see of that selected and console application that going to use. After that, click on this next and here next create. So project to created. The first thing you need to include the two packages for MongoDB. So right click on the project. Then here you need to go manage NutCat package. So after that to this place you need to click on this browse and here you need to type mongodb and or press enter then you can see there are so many mongodb based on mango drive driver and mongodb this one so i'm going to download first this option so select this and click on this ok and here i accept so here it's so downloading and installing and thereafter here you can see this is a tick mark that means it's done second this mongodb driver that going to download and install click on this install ok accept so here this also done after you know here the package now if i go on this dependency here you can see the two packages that's come there now the next is i'm going to write the code so first here going to include the namespace so here right use uh, mongodb that's come there then if i press start then you can include here bison then or uh, next is using mongodb another package that going to use this time so driver two packages that's come there after that let's use here variable where and this place writing here db so this so uh, variable that's so uh, defined by the user and after that creating with the help of new and mongo db mongo okay so mongo that's come there and here we need to include client mongodb mongo client now this place you need to give here in the double code first is mongo the next is or server that's giving local host and uh, port for mongodb 22270 and 17 now after that here we need to write i mongo i mongo database we need to use so this one and this is the interface required and uh, here db equal to db client that going to use and db client variable if i press dot then here we need to get the data from the database so get database we need to use and there we need to give the correct database so sony is the database that i will show you the next is here where and giving uh, another taking the variable the name is emp and use here db so db is the interface object now press dot then or this place you can get the collection and uh, collection here this place including b and here b send document Decent document and close by semicolon. Sorry, so close by or uh, bracket. Then after this place, so you need to give the collection name. So giving the collection name employees that is now this closing by the semicolon. Now after or uh, doing this one, the next is let's take another variable where and giving here the name is fail. Then after let's include or uh, builder so builder or uh, and uh, the next is inside there 
मिनट तो पांच से आओ बी एस नॉट डी दैट इज बी मिनट टू इंक्लूड बी हॉस एंड डॉक्यूमेंट देन आफ्टर प्रेस डॉट देन यू कैन यूज योर फिल्टर एंड डॉट देन यू कैन यूज योर ई क्यू so eq and this is all about eq create a equality filter so or doing a filter on employee underscore so let's write everything in capital letter employee underscore id and uh, here giving the employee id 100 1 so this is the filter part now the next is another variable that's going to take var doc and here going to use the amp variable so if i press dot then uh, here we need to write here find so this is what the find begins to find find the interface and uh, here find method we need to use and uh, here we need to include the filter so filter uh, filter fill and thereafter if i press dot then it has uh, our first or default that going to use and this is also a method after that now all the things that's come we need to write here console dot write line and uh, let's write here doc and this doc that receive that's going to convert into a string format with the help of two string method now this is the code this is the simplest code to connect this or with the dot net and uh, now the next is here i'm going to so so this is now you can see server that is local host and this is the port 27017 and then after sony that is uh, database employs that is collection and uh, filtering 101 record one a record load or uh, when the query that execute so there is no any problem on the uh, name name space anything now let's run and check the output and now you can see here so okay there is the some uh, exception that's come there on uh, this so what happened let's so uh, here i forget to i written only mongo so this place we need to write here mongo db local host 270 everything now it's correct let's uh, do once again and uh, now you can see this is the data that's come from the mongo db and this is the sys of code so employee id number long because number type and here 101 records that's displaying first name nino last name and here this is the phone number and hire date date format is or date it's a display so this is the way we can connect to mongodb with the sys of and uh, uh, with the help of this coding so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you